Well, I'm back. Uh, the problem with using your phone <laughs> as the way you record your videos is when the phone rings, <laughs> the video shuts off. <laughs> so, back to our um, coffee flour muffin. And I just finished beating it. Looks very chocolatey. And so I have my little ramekin. I sprayed a little bit of uh, coconut grease in there. And what we're gonna do, and I remembered all of my ingredients this time. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this into very sticky, much stickier than um, the, the coconut flour normally is. I hope that's not bad. And I normally, now I just was looking at some other people who make sort of a version of what I make, and they put theirs in the mic for um, three minutes. I don't... I don't know if three minutes for me would be good. I think that would dry it out. I like mine to have some, a little bit of, not wetness. I don't want it to be dry as a bone though. Cause then I put it in the um, toaster and it gets dried out even more. So uh, I like two minutes. You can try it for three. This is really sticky. I am wondering what the hell this is going to be like when we get this done. Urgh. All right. So that part's done. And we're going to pop it in for two. Wondering why I got my bathing suit on. Well, at least my top on because I got home and it was like this morning when I left, it was 49 degrees. When I got home, it was close to 80. It was hot as a bitch. So I immediately went upstairs and I did not want to put a bra back on. So I was like, oh, bathing suit top. It's just me at home. So it's not like I got anybody to impress. So. Waiting on that to cook. What else did I get today? Um, oh, found the black and white coffee, and I know I posted on Facebook those little, the little tiny ones. I didn't even know those existed that have the MCT oil in them. Um, I wouldn't normally have MCT oil in the middle of the day. Here's why. For me, I am like a jittering fool after I've had MCT. Um, I had to stop taking it in the morning because you want to talk about shaking like a leaf. Sure, it gave me a lot of energy. It gave me too much energy. Even a teaspoon of that stuff is like crack. It just, I don't know. It just does not help me out uh, in a good way. So I just have a regular coffee in the morning. But when my son saw those, he's like, he had a he had to go to work so he was like I'm really lagging so I'm gonna get one of these and I was like well I'm gonna try one too I got two things of those black and white y'all because Trader Joe's for me or um, Whole Foods is a 45 minute drive from me and the only reason that I was up there was because I was with my son he lives up that way but I don't go up there all the time it's just too far away so um, yeah, when we uh, when we were up in that area, I was like, we got to go to Whole Foods. And sure enough, they had a whole thing of black and white. And I just stood there kind of staring at it like, should I get two? Should I get three? How many of these should I get? Because when I find something I like, I tend to overdo it. Oh, okay. So this is our, this is our coffee flour. Wow, it ra it grows a lot more than the regular one does. Ow, it's very hot. Let me show y'all. Look at that, it's like a little souffle. It looks like it's kind of, it's a, it's a little shaky. Let's, um, let's pop it out and see what the bottom looks like. Cause, uh, sometimes the bottom can be kind of wet. 
So I'm going to pop it out onto the counter. I, what's the problem with this? American, oh, I see why it was so uh, tall, because the bottom of it pushed up a little bit. But it's still a good size. That's a good size. Um, I'm going to cut it in half. I use a bread knife. It just gives it a better cut. It feels a little denser. Good. And a, it's a little drier looking in the center. Not quite. It's very dense. But um, I'm going to pop it in the... Um, Pop it in the toaster, and we'll see how it toasts. It might dry it right out. It might be fine. So that might start being my go-to in the morning, maybe just replacing. It does have caffeine in it. So um, I, don't, I don't know if it's negligible or what. Coffee cherry pulp flour may contain blah, 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 blah. Run in Nicaragua. No, it doesn't say. I mean, I have to imagine it's got nicot or not nicotine, uh, caffeine in it. Maybe I can look it up and say. Um, and uh, it also said online that you can add this to like smoothies and stuff to make it sort of I don't know richer. Like I said, it smells like dirt. I wasn't being funny. It really does smell like dirt. It doesn't smell like, you know when you squeeze the coffee bag and you smell the either the beans or the ground coffee? You know that smell? It doesn't smell like that. I don't really want to snort it again because I think I got some up my nose, but yeah, it does smell like dirt. We'll see how it tastes. It might not be bad. Um, I might just put a little bit of butter on it just to wet it up a little. See what my husband does to the butter? He like, I don't know, he just like scrapes at it with a fork. What, what the hell is up with that? Can you not get a knife and cut a piece off like a normal human? What is wrong with you? Just scraping it off with a fork. Wacko. And today I did buy some forbidden fruit. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's plantain. A week or so ago, I bought one. I wanted to see if I could recreate what we had in Costa Rica. Uh, they did green smashed plantains. I didn't want to deep fry them, and that's how we had them, uh, and they are so good. But I wanted to see if I could bake them and get the same kind of consistency. Now, plantains are not on the keto-friendly list. These are full of carbs. Full. So, if I was not at goal, I would not be eating these, and I don't buy these a lot. But I found a couple other recipes that I might try, and these are sort of, this would be considered my cheat, I guess. Um, and just kind of play around and see what I could do with it, and, and uh, find a recipe where I could bake them. Um, and I just put some salt and some olive oil on them and, and baked them for a little while. And the one I did before turned out so hard, I almost busted a tooth. I didn't eat them, so I left them on the stove. And my husband came in, he's like, ooh, what's that? I swear to God, he ate every single one of them. He's got jaws. Ow. He's got jaws like, uh, like a bear. Okay, so I toasted it. You can't really tell. You see two little lines. It is dry. How much drier? Uh, I don't know yet. But I'm going to take a little bite and I'll tell y'all if it's worth it. So the bag of coffee flour was $3.99, I think. I think it was $3.99. And, um, you know... I don't, I don't know if it was worth it, let's say. I'm just going to take a little bite here so y'all can.
Okay. I have to say I'm not a fan. You know what it's like? It's like an unsweetened wheat bread. I guess. It's not sweet at all. It's really it's like dirt. It really does taste like dirt. Um, maybe y'all can make something with it that doesn't taste like dirt. Um, I don't know. Maybe I didn't add... Maybe if you add sugar to it. Or not sugar, but, you know, a sweetener of some kind. Or maybe if you slather it in cream cheese, it might make it better. Um... I'm going to give it a thumbs down for me in this one situation. So, okay, so I think that's it for today, um, or for this at least. Um, it got a thumbs down. They can't all be winners, I guess. I'm going to keep doing some research on what else I can use that for. There might be another use for it. I hate it to go to waste, so I will incorporate it into something at some point. So, all right, y'all. I'll see you later. Bye.